Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the ninth episode of Ochi Kobare Fruit Tart. And in the last episode, our fruit tarts were as fruity and tarty as always. And we got some uh, Rua and Nua, like we got, a, I think, a better feel for their characters than we've gotten in the rest of the show, really. So that was cool, getting some real interactions with them. So yeah, let's jump into this episode, see what's up, see what our characters are, gonna, are, are up to, what adventures they will seek, and all that good stuff. So, three, two, one, play. Bum, 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 bum. Well, me a station. Fruit turf. Okay. Good old Tony. You know, I just never mind. <laughs> Okay, what I was going to say was the camera was focused on our butt and I heard like a swishing sound, so I just kind of, I thought a spanky was about to come, but uh, no, that's not what happened there. I just hope I'm not the only one that, that uh, thought that, but I probably am. Yeah, good to see Tona, you know, she's a very important character. Of course, all the characters are pretty important. I wouldn't get rid of any of them, really. Like, the show doesn't really have a bad, a bad girl, I don't think. Like, a worse girl, I mean. Like, I mean, they're all pretty great in their own way. Like, there's no character that I would, that I would be like, uh, yeah, I mean, I could do without that character. I think they're all pretty, pretty important. So what's our title? D. <laughs> For D. Okay, die, 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 diuretic effect. Um, that's that's an interesting title. I okay. Uh, should I be worried? <laughs> but yeah, CDs, uh, not sure I like to look at those clouds. That almost seems like a, like, a bad omen, like, things are not gonna go well. <laughs> Hopefully that pays off. Oh god, Jesus. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if we're gonna be able to sell that many. <laughs> I mean, even if we went to, like, Comic Cat or something, I'm not sure we could sell that many. <laughs> I see. I see how it is. <laughs> as long as it don't change the channel, yeah, we're, we're good. What better manager could we ask for? <laughs> yeah, I just I'm, I'm, I don't got a lot of confidence right now. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. <laughs> Thank you for your input, Hemo. It's always valuable. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I expected to be the reasoning. Uh. Oh. <laughs> okay. All makes sense now. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> Tavern, yeah. I'll buy 20 of them. Like, I have several questions. That's the biggest one. <laughs> okay, that's that says a lot. Oh god, yeah, that's that's Jesus, that's uh, that that's a pretty minimalistic swimsuit. I mean it makes sense to me. <laughs> so yeah, yes, yeah, just I'm mentally preparing for that swimsuit. But what are we going to find in here? Yeah, that probably wasn't required. <clears throat> Likely story. You don't know that. Maybe they'd appreciate the change of pace. Yeah, just leave it all to them to make up for all this. But I got faith in them. I'm sure we got this. Yeah, come on. Don't be that way, manager. Oh, Tone? I mean, it's gotta be Tone, right? Yeah, there she is. Ready to help at any moment. I feel a lot better with her here, honestly. <laughs> that is the most important thing. <laughs> I bet she is. She's pretty great. <laughs> And valuable member, like I said. Okay. That seems simple enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well done. <laughs> She is a pro, all right. Okay. <laughs> wow. I, I think she's into it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. At the greatest moment of the, the fan's life to touch the idol's hand, I would imagine. Uh, okay, yeah, that'll do it. Oh god, that's yeah, that's that's what makes it worth everything. That moment, I, th I think you know, nailed it. She just has a new fan for life now. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> right. And there's some Oshi Budokan flashbacks with this conversation. Like for real. <laughs> okay, I mean, sure. Kind of a strong character, dedicate to it. Oh! Pfft. Well, I mean, that'll do it. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, it would work if we did it, but are you willing to do it? That's the question.
Tar feeling aim for it. Curry. Yeah, curry. I mean, yeah, of course. She, she still got that uniform. Probably the only person that, that feels that way. Today is the concert, okay. Uh, good luck every, 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 everyone. Oh god, oh wow. Okay, that's a shot. <laughs> uh, you know, taxis a day. Okay, I see how it is. Just, yeah, take safe refuge in there. Nobody will see you. Just don't get stuck. That is a legit stage. Is that a is that a big crowd? I mean, there was a crowd, but there I mean, I'm, might not might not even be here for you. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much what I thought. I mean, yeah, those people don't look at their for an idol concert. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, Rocco. Hey, Tone. She's definitely here for our concert. <laughs> Yes, she is. Lots is a strong word. <laughs> oh, that is cute. Yeah, that's convincing. You guys really need to make up your mind. I doubt it. Yeah, Sasukani. Hey, I'll take one of those cups. I'll uh, take some of those too. I'll I'll take all of those. Literally, literally all of them. Oh, Daki Makura. Okay, wow, we really did go all out for this. Okay, I mean, if you insist, <laughs> I can imagine the Samino ones selling pretty easily <laughs> to certain people. Also, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you are you upset about something? Do you have a problem with all of our fine merch here? Yeah, just pretty standard idol merch, you know. Can you get some mouse pads and Daki Makura and some bugs and do you get then you feel like a real fan after you get all that stuff? Yeah, aren't we already in our idol ch outfits? Uh, <laughs> maybe we're in that minimalistic swimsuit. Oh, I I like the sound of that. Let's go. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Oh, well, the vans are rocking. What do we got? Okay. Okay, not bad. I, I like it. I approve. <laughs> Always the excuses with you, huh? <laughs> so yeah, some work was certainly done. <laughs> All the praise for Nina. <laughs> oh, this is all so nice. 
Where's uh, where's Hemo? Why is she not in the shot? Why is she left out? <laughs> uh. So we are bringing up Hemo. Oh, um, are 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 you are you okay? What 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 happened? What's up? Why? Why? That is kind of what it looks like. Uh, or or did you already? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm not sure that's true. I'm sure it's a fairly common thing. Four, five, six, seven. What a wonderful shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks like we've got a gathering of support. This is this is quite nice. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, back to you, Hemo. Are you okay? You're with your friends, though, so I think everything will be fine. Just do what they do. <laughs> well, that's cute. Nothing to apologize for. <laughs> uh, yours is fine, too. Don't worry. Shush, Roko. That's just your opinion. <laughs> Good, good to hear. Girls, girl knows what to do. Yeah, I should have seen you know back in, back in the day. Well, I wet myself on stage and slip on it. Yeah, in a way. Oh, there we go. This is this is what I live for right here. <laughs> and now things have been kind of turned around. <laughs> Didn't really think about that. Uh, how can she not after all that? Yeah, just their own world right now. <laughs> I get a room, you too. That's what that look means. Yeah, I don't think they mind. I mean, if it's anything like Hollow Life fans, they, they, they're more than okay with this. But yes, <laughs> it was like a ready for our concert. You can get us, yeah. I think I saw a little bit there, but anyway, concert. You're doing great, Hemo. Keep it up. Excellent twirl, you know. Uh, that weird background effect on the clothing again, that just really unsettles me. <laughs> a little hop in there. Yeah, that was yeah, that was a great animation on Roko. <laughs> that it is.
<laughs> it, yeah, yes. Power of Eno's love can, con can, can accomplish anything. Oh god, we are definitely lit up now. Now it's truly showing you the power of idols. I'm almost waiting for something to go wrong after she said that, but now it looks like looks like it went pretty well. Nobody nobody fell. Nobody wet themselves. Nobody died. And that one girl side too. Encore. True, true statement. I call it a pretty successful performance overall. <laughs> so she noticed that too. <laughs> so she just kind of like hiding. You know? Or Hemo, which one are you talking about? Hemo, I guess. Anyway, I'm glad we're getting more into her, because I do remember her from like the opening. Unagi! <laughs> yeah, she definitely comes across as an antagonist with some of her general lines of behavior and stuff. You know, menacingly looking at her characters from a distance as they're having a good time. <sighs> but yeah, it was pretty much a success, you know? I was expecting something to go wrong, but uh, no, it was all good. Nina doing her best to help with uh, the clothing situation. It definitely had to have felt like real idols this episode because they had all that merch and the performance and all that stuff. And the audience is really happy with it and everything. So just a preview. Yeah, the preview. So yeah, we don't uh, need to watch that because I'll anything there will be seen next episode. So yeah, that was the ninth episode of Ochi Kobode Fruit Tart. And you know, uh, this episode, we had a lot of what we usually have in episodes like Ho Ho being Ho Ho, you know, the, uh, the, you know, how do you even really describe her? Like, she's obviously really cheap and stingy with uh, a lot of things, but also blows money on other things like fancy food for you know like business people that she converses with and whatnot you know and uh also the you know the big gambling by like having like three thousand cds and just kind of like hey we either sell all the cds or we failed and it's it's all over you know that's kind of that's kind of what we're doing here i did like that one line i can't i don't remember it word for word but something about it, uh, the the lack of sales being proportional to the skin shown it with swimsuits the way it was just a great line especially since then we actually got to see a visual of that idea which was a great shot by the way i definitely liked that a lot so that was a thing so that was uh so we knew pretty early what our goal for the episode would be you know get in the those cds sold with our cd debut debut and Tona, we actually have Tona have a very important part of it too, which is great to see, you know. She's obviously a very likable, very talented girl that's obviously also pretty popular on the show, you know, for uh, reasons that Ho-Ho stated. So, I mean, yeah, none of that should surprise anyone. But yeah, with her here, just things just go better. Like, she's just such a valuable asset to the team. So, I'm, I'm glad to have her here. 
you know, even with like the scene when she was like uh, giving us the training, you know, like the bowing and stuff, like, you know, as soon as she mentioned the whole bowing thing, I, I knew what she had in mind and, you know, the show confirmed that. So yeah, she definitely knows what she's doing for sure. We also had the handshake practice, which was pretty great. We had, you know, you know, and uh, Hi Hayu was her name, right? The, yeah, Hayu. Yeah, they were doing that. We got a little bit of blushing from Hayu initially, and then we had, you know, like amp it up. So then we got some hardcore blushing. So that was pretty great. So what was this line again? I don't think I quite caught it the first time. If I bought all the CDs, does that mean I get to shake everyone's hand forever? I mean, I mean, this line, like it was saying, you know, in the reaction, uh, uh, Ochi, Ochi, Buddha, whatever you want to call the show, you know, the Idol of Budokan died show, you know, uh, that, it, this reminded me a lot of that because had the handshake events were such a big part of that, you know? So, you know, we had our crazy fan that would buy like all of I minus CDs and maximize the all of that. So, you know, it just reminded me a lot of that for sure. So just a lot of good practice there for sure. And then we had our second half, which was actually focused on the, you know, the CDs, the CD distribution, the performance, the merch selling, all that stuff kind of came, came together there. And as soon as they were talking about that big crowd, I was like, yeah, that's, they're not all here for you. There's just no way. And then again, the, the show confirmed that because they were for some other fancy musical event that doesn't matter to us at all. But, but yes, yeah, so with the outfits that they were wearing, they were quite clearly not here for an idol concert. I think yeah, that's pretty, pretty safe to say. And, you know, Roku just in her own world, you know, descending into darkness and then coming out of darkness, I I, I guess. She was uh, was quite eventful for her. But yeah, getting to see all the merch was great. Like, uh, I want to take a better look at all the merch that we got. Yeah, we had, like, a bunch of pictures over there. The merch seems to move well. Yeah, what are we selling? Then we get to see them. We see, like, buttons, which is pretty cool. I actually like the design of most of the buttons. We got some pictures, like we see, uh, like when we have, it looks like Hayu and Roku in school swimsuits, which is a good picture. I think we have a sleeping picture of Hemo. Uh, I think it's a, oh yeah, it's a picture of Roku and uh, Nina sleeping together too. I think I remember that from the show. Yeah, there's a lot of good pictures here. And then of course, yeah, Hayu and Nino, Nina. Hayu just getting inside that Nina chest like people love to do. So that's that. Also, these are some like, uh, I don't know, what are those like banner type things? I'm not quite sure, but we also have mugs. Mugs that just straight up says fruit tart on it. So, I think there's also some pens, although I'm not sure how much those have to do with fruit tart. I guess it's just the coloring matches, but oh yeah, here we get a zoom in on the pictures. Okay, easier to see here. But uh, yeah, there are some good pictures. I think one's just, just Roka blushing, which is, you know, more than good enough. But yeah, they are fine quality pictures, you know, definitely would sell. And then she, and then she whips out the Daki Makura, right? So, yeah, we have like, is she holding like all five of them in this shot? I mean, they're all around her, but I mean, there's no way she could possibly be holding the ones behind her. So I'm not quite sure the logic, how that all that works, but you know, we get a good shot of all of them. That's what matters. And they do all look pretty good. I think we only see like one side of them. Like typically with Daki Makura, you have two sides, one being more wholesome, the other side being more lewd generally. So Kind of makes me wonder what the other side of them uh, looks like. So, just thought I'd just thought I'd mention that. And then, yeah, Hayo, I think, was the one com kind of complaining about the, the merch. But it, it's all good. We all accepted it in the end, I think. And then we brought up, like, a difference uh, in costumes, you know? Something better. And it does look pretty good. Although, they did kind of talk about that it did not look great initially. And then Nina improved it. You know, they kind of talked about that. So, but the, the end result is some pretty good looking clothing. So, that's that's what matters. They all look great. They all, they all got hyped up to be on stage. But we had one issue with Hemo, right? She was pretty nervous. At this point, I actually kind of forgot that she hadn't yet done anything, been on stage, really. I mean, I knew she showed up late to the group, but, uh, you know, for some reason, I just kind of figured she had experience with that sort of thing, but apparently not. But this did lead, a great, they lead to a great opportunity for, you know, to, you know, support her and get her uh, to deal with her, you know, nervousness and all that because it was a great great reversal of way back in episode one or two whenever we had the other concert where Hemo was in that role so that was a really great thing once they reminded me that that was a thing that I really liked that and then you know chopping district people and you know come in as well to support that was good too and of course you had to remind the audience about uh, Eno's you know bladder issue 
which apparently is not as cute as Hemo's issue, but I, I disagree. I think it's plenty cute, so no need, to, no need to feel bad about that, you know, I would say. But yeah, just uh, the one-on-one -on -one between, you know, and Hemo in the scene, and then, you know, that eventual cut to the audience scene that, yeah, they've just, it's a it's become a scene, everyone's watching. I think one guy even had, had his camera out, probably videotaping the whole thing. So that's that was great. But you, you know the audience, 90% of them definitely appreciated watching that, for sure. And then we actually had the, had the performance itself. I want to watch the the jump on the stage again. So yeah, we see the, the, we see a foot and then the jump and then we pan up to see them all in the air. And I definitely didn't know just uh, Roko's Ponsu. I didn't really see anyone else's, but I think with but uh with what Oho said, if all those were visible to the audience, I guess. But Roko's the only one I saw, only one I saw. But yeah, I can believe that everyone's was visible. So definitely a nice touch to start off a concert for sure. The early bits of the concert had a lot of like panning still shots, which got me a little bit worried, but after that we definitely got some pretty, pretty good animation, you know, within there for sure. Some good Roko stuff, some good, I think we had a good Hayu thing too. And a good, uh, yeah, a good you know one as well. Like, I, th I was, the, there was enough animation there for me to be overall satisfied with the uh, with this scene. But yeah, and I think in the end we get we get that uh, we get that eel by Dunagi. So everyone's having a good time, except we have like our other antagonist like girl in the background. Like I think we saw her at the end of last episode, but she didn't really do much. She didn't really do much in this episode either, but she was closer to our characters. So yeah, I think next episode is when we'll actually start to see her doing something. I'm not quite sure what. She was talking about Hemo, I believe, there near the end. So it does seem like she's gonna do something. She so probably maybe some trying to steal back chemo I, I don't know but it'll be interesting to see for sure because you don't really have like an, an antagonist in the show exactly really it's just kind of the the fear of failure you know like losing our our mouse house and all and not all, all, that, all that stuff so far it's been like the closest thing to an antagonist but if we have like an antagonist character that could certainly spice things up and that's kind of the path of going down here so we'll see how the how all that goes but yeah, I, I quite like the episode, especially the thing between Eno and Hemo. That was good. So we'll see how things go in the next episode. So till then, bye bye. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.